No, fíjate que siento que, que algo, algo sí se, se voy aprendiendo. Y unas cosas, va un montón de cosas nuevas. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Yes, teacher. For me, it's okay, teacher. Good. What are you? Good. I'm doing okay, too. Thank you. Did you guys have a good day? Yes, teacher. Okay. Did you stay home or did you go to work? At home. Okay. All right. So welcome back. Today is July 9th. We're in the middle of the year. And um, December is around the corner. So anyways, welcome back. Uh, what was yesterday's topic? What did we do yesterday? Who remembers? We was talking about child. Okay, we're talking about children. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, when we have speaking activities like yesterday's about children, the idea is that you guys improve your fluency, your pronunciation, intonation. So, um, but most of all, so you guys feel free when you talk without following one pattern in particular. So just, you know, whatever comes to your mind, say it, but always try to say it the right way. Okay, so talking about children was one of the topics. Uh, what else did we talk about? Who remembers? Uh -huh. We talk about uh, interviews. We talk about? <clears throat> interviews. Yes, yes. You guys were practicing the type of indirect questions that people could ask in a job interview. Yes. So when you go to a job interview, like I told you guys yesterday, using indirect questions makes you sound more polite and it makes you sound that you have studied the language. So it's also very important that you guys keep that in mind. Okay, what else did we talk about? What was the other? So we spoke about children. We um, used indirect questions. Any questions about yesterday? Teacher, I, I had a, a question. For yes, Edward. Yesterday. Sure. Okay, my question is about the the first topic. You explain more information about polite polite questions. Right. Okay, I. I had to do that in the last part because what is the mean weather or because well, I trust uh -huh. translate my translate but I didn't understand. Okay, whether it means ya sea or no. For example, I need to pay bills whether I have money or not. Tengo que pagar mis recibos ya sea que tenga dinero o no. So whether is when you are included two possible circumstances at the same time. Uh, yes. Teacher, the sounds, weather sounds like it's raining, the weather, the time. Yeah, yeah. it's exactly sounds the similar. same pronunciation, but the spelling and the meaning is different, obviously, mm -hmm. but the pronunciation is exactly the same, yes. Okay. Right? So, uh, for example, Edward, I can ask you, can you ask your brother whether he wants to stay um, in Sonsonate or not? Preguntarle si se quiere quedar o no. So, he has two options. Oh, okay, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I yep. understand in this moment. Yes, uh, I watched the, the question and I understand. Thank okay, you. good. Very good. Anybody else has any other questions or comments related with um, with this week's uh, topics? So remember, uh, when we talk about certain grammar topics, um, it is good if you apply it when you speak, 
but in many circumstances, your objective is to understand the other person and the other person can understand you. So um, when we talk about grammar, we're trying to give you other options that you guys can use when you are speaking the language. So uh, that is the point. Any other questions or comments? Questions or comments? I have a question. Yes, Rebecca. Uh, I didn't understand. I didn't understand what means childless and child free. Okay, childless means sin hijos. Child free, libre de hijos. They are synonyms. Child free and child uh, and childless. Remember that you use the word less when you don't have the the noun that you previously mentioned. So um, if I'm chewing gum, the chewing gum says sugarless. That means that less, that sugar is not included in the gum. So sugarless and um, childless and child free are synonym, are synonyms. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments? Anybody else about this week? No. Let me check this here. Da -da -da. <coughs> Record. All right, any questions before we start today's uh, session? No? Okay, before we go into today's grammar point, which is using adjectives to compare things, I will give you five minutes for you to work in pairs and you will compare the differences between apartments and houses. So if you live in a house, uh, do you prefer a house or an apartment? What is cheaper? What is better? Uh, what is more convenient? So um, at first, like today, right now's exercise, you will talk and you will compare in a free way. Like you will make comparisons the way you usually talk. So when we come to the explanation of today's topic, you guys can make a, a, a relation to it. Um, are the questions clear? Are the questions clear? Okay. So let's do this. Five minutes for you to compare houses and apartments. What do you prefer? We are all in the same room. Yes, I know. I, I, I made a mistake, so that's why I'm bringing you back. Yeah, I said, man, that's a big group. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, but we still have half a minute to, um, to exit, so everybody's back. <laughs> okay. All right, give me 20 seconds while we get this thing on track. Uh -huh. Give me a second. Do -do -do. Okay. 
Okay, three, four, five, and six. So room two, room two, I don't know what's wrong with this today, but Teacher, I don't have a group. Okay, uh, Clara. Yes. Okay, let me move you to room three. How was your day, Clara? Fine, teacher, and you? Uh, it was good. I went to San Salvador, came back to Lourdes. It was pretty good. Hi, my dog. He's very cute. <laughs> uh huh. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, it has two months. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a small dog? Yes, small dog. Okay. Do you have only one dog? Yes. All right. I don't know why room three doesn't read you. Let me try room four. Okay. Because in, in the room, I am alone. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Benjamin told me he's at work and he can only uh, he, listen to the class, but he cannot uh, participate as much. Mm. Okay. All right, give me a second. Room four. Uh, level of the field. <laughs> you have to to live with with a lot of um, with a lot of neighbors. Mm. So I won't like to live there because I live. I like to live alone. I mean, I like to have uh, not much uh, neighbors. <laughs> really? 
but I think in the theory you have a lot of neighbor right yes yeah it's true uh, but small the house small okay Saira tell me what do you prefer uh, uh, apartments or a house hello good night everybody hello. I'm sorry to be late don't worry uh, okay i i try to explain <laughs> i prefer uh, uh oh you're right they share the restroom they share the bathroom uh, they share a lot of things but but yes the, everything almost everything the privacy is is one of the the, the ugly things you hear everyone's talking and fighting in the <laughs> <Asian> apartment <laughs> even in houses sometimes too <laughs> but but it is less it's yeah it's less, less. <laughs> yeah, it's less i agree why you don't live in san jerónimo por qué uh, no vive en san jerónimo este i live well, my family lives outside of San Jerónimo, Castellillo, but I know there. San Jerónimo, is that La Unión? No, no Metapan. No, Metapan. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, both, both live in, in Metapan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, Juan Jose and said you guys live in Metapan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but you don't know each other in reality. No. Okay. All right. How old are no. you, Juan Jose? Juan Jose. Hola. How old are you? I have. I have. 27 years old you are 27, 27. Uh, i have i have chickens <laughs> a lot of I, I have chickens and cow 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 okay vaca no? yeah uh, cows <laughs> cows <laughs> okay um <laughs> And garros, como se dice. <laughs> really? <laughs> I wanna. I wanna. I, yeah, I wanna. Uh, I have, For I the... have two I wanna, I wanna in uh -huh. my house. Oh. For pets or, <laughs> or, or, or for it? <laughs> really, really, really nice. Uh, our pets. Uh, really, I protect. I protective the the fauna. Fauna. And the fauna and don't like eat animal. Uh, eat uh, Sylvester's animals. Wild, wild animals. Wild, wild animals. Wild animals. Okay. So, what other type of animals do you have at home? Saul, uh -huh. what other animals do you have? Uh, cubs and chickens. Uh, only. Okay, but you eat the chicken. Mm. Do you eat the chicken when they're ready? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, if uh, if eat chicken. <laughs> okay. Eat in my in my house um, every every members eat chicken good good nice all right so let's go back to the main session mm, repeat please teacher ah, i don't understand we're going back to the main session we're going back to the session with everybody
you have to to run the microphone. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Um, any questions about what you were practicing? No question. Actually, it's 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 a great exercise because it's it's one of the conversation that you always have when when you meet a person. Exactly. Or when you're looking for a place, like um, when you go to university, the the university that you go to, maybe it's not near your house, so you have to go to the place near the university and look for a house, an apartment and and different things. Yep. Okay. Um, can you tell me one difference between house and apartment? The bills that you have to pay. Uh-huh. But how are they different? Uh, the apartment is more or less uh, money than the houses. Okay, so you can say apartments are cheaper than houses. Yes. Okay, someone else, another um, difference between house and apartments? Depends on the price because there are a, a beautiful and a big apartment and they are very expensive. Yup, that's a good point. It depends where yeah. you are. Colonia Escalon yeah. has apartments that are two three thousand dollars rent yeah i mean a nice beautiful view air conditioner everything but they're expensive yeah mm -hmm. okay um another opinion teacher for me is better uh, apartments because it's more easy to clean okay it's <laughs> easier to uh. clean <laughs> yeah that's a that, that's a that's another thing you need to take into account because if you're busy all the time and you don't have time to clean, maybe an apartment is better for you. Good. Um, another opinion from someone else? No? All right. So let me show you. Uh, where is this? It's right here. Okay, have you guys seen this part in the platform? Not yet? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, what's the name of the exercise? Evaluation and com comparison. <laughs> Comparisons. comparisons yes evaluations and comparisons okay so today we're going to be working with the part on the left evaluations with adjectives now let me ask you what is an adjective what's the function of an adjective what do you do with adjectives Can you hear me? Yes, quantify, teacher. Okay, it could be, yes. We can use adjectives to quantify, good. Uh, another option? Uh, Qualify the, the subject, teacher. Okay, qualify the subject, yes. So when we talk about adjectives, we're talking about the part of grammar that is used to describe or qualify an object or an app. So may I have a volunteer to read the first example? Apartments. Apartments are enough for families. Okay, thank you. So apartments aren't big enough for families. In other words, what they're saying with this example is that apartments are too small. Look at the second one. Apartments are too small for pets. So here you are comparing and you are saying that apartments is not a good idea for, for families, for big families. And uh, apartments is not a good option if you have pets. But like some of your 
classmate said, it depends which apartment because some apartments are expensive and they are even bigger than houses. Okay, if we go to the second part, we are comparing. May I have a volunteer to read the first example, please? Yes, me. Okay, please. House aren't as convenient as apartment. Okay, can you explain what the message is there? He says, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. What, according to this example, what is more convenient, houses or apartments? Apartments. 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 Exactly, exactly. Uh, can you please read the second example, the last example that we have here? Houses, houses, are, houses are just as convenient as apartments. Very good, thank you. So in the second example, the last example, what is more convenient, houses or apartments? Or are they the same? Exactly, they are the same. So remember, when you're using as convenience as, you're saying that they have the same level of convenience. So these are ways, like I told you at the beginning of the class, we're not saying that you need to speak with this particular uh, structures. You, you can use other structures to talk about uh, different things. Now, let me ask you this. Did you use these um, structures when you were comparing houses with apartments? Or were you comparing no. the natural way of speaking? Natural way. Okay. So once again, and as you can see, you did not use these structures, but your message was understood. So you don't need to be doing this uh, um, like in a mandatory way. It's just another option that you have to compare things. So here, if you compare these examples here, they are exactly the same if you compare with the structure. So you said houses are big enough for big families. Apartments are small enough for one person. So if you compare the examples that we have here with the structure at the bottom, we are using the same thing. Any questions or comments here? Have you ever lived in an apartment? I have. Yes, yes I have. Okay. So if you have always lived in a house, but I'm pretty sure you have visited friends, family members that they live in apartments, what is your general opinion? What is better, houses or apartments? Houses. Houses. I prefer houses. Okay. <laughs> Why why do you say that houses are better? I heard some because of your opinions. Uh-huh. They have more space. They, they have, have more space. space. Okay. Yes. Good. Another reason why houses are better? For me, because I have many animals. And oh. I like I like dogs and the apartment have space. Okay, good. So once again, uh, like Noeli said, she has animals, she, like, she likes dogs, and if that's your type, houses are more convenient. Good. Someone else wants to express your opinion, why you prefer apartments or houses? Anybody? Somebody, anybody? I think if you, me, <laughs> What is it? I think if you are a single person, it's a better have an apartment. But okay. if you have a family, you need more space and more privacy. Right, right. Yeah, so that is something that you need to take into account also. Like um, how many people will live with you? So that is very important. 
Okay. Um, any questions or comments before you start practicing this uh, structure? Let me show you um, a list of adjectives. See this here. No, that's not the one. This, this is the one. Do you see the word document? Yes, list of adjectives. Very good, list of adjectives. Can somebody please read the list that we have here? Comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Convenient. Uh -huh. Dangerous. Uh -huh. Dark. Yes. Bright. Uh -huh. Fancy. Uh huh. Hulk. Huge. Huge. Small. Uh huh. Inconvenient. Okay. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. Nice. Noisy. Noisy. Safe. Uh huh. Spacious. Spacious. Very good. And spacious. Very good. Okay. Are there any questions uh, with the meaning of these twelve adjectives? Teacher, what is the meaning for number seven? Huge. Numbers huge. huge. Uh, can somebody explain the meaning of the word huge? Huge is an adjective of bigger. Huge. Yes. Yeah. Huge means um, very big. Oh, okay. Thank you. Very big. Yes. So um, it can be something physical, but you can also use it for. Um, to express feelings like uh, when you see your brother, give him a huge hug for me. When you see your mother, uh, tell him I send her a huge kiss. So it can also be related with feelings. Okay, um, any other questions about these adjectives? What's the meaning for the number five? Number five, bright. Can somebody explain the word bright? Shiny. Okay, bright is the opposite of dark. Number four and number five are opposites. It means something shine. It's yes. Light? Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's a synonym of light. You're right, yes. So uh, let's say you are discussing a plan. You say, look, I have a bright idea. So I have a good idea, a clear idea. Mm -hmm. Any other questions about the vocabulary you will use right now? For example, you will say houses are just as comfortable as apartments, if that were my opinion. But you know that it's a uh, it's a little bit different. Any questions or comments? No. no? Okay, so uh, I'm sending you the, the examples that I was sharing with you. I want you to use these 12 adjectives so you compare uh, and you apply the structure that we're studying right now. So let me make the groups. I have a big group. Move to room two. Move to room two. And move to room six. And move to room six. Okay, so once again, let me explain the, the instructions. I send you an image of the structures that we're using. And also, I sent you the, the image with the list of adjectives that you are supposed to use. So, um, See this here, 
six. So here we go. No, no idea. Like Anna was saying, I think, or, or I don't remember who said that. <laughs> <laughs> the, yes, uh, in this case, in this case, uh, if really dangerous, <laughs> I. Yes. I I think okay in my chore sure. I think that the the houses are mm -hmm. just more uh <laughs> o sea cuál es la diferencia verdad y acaba de entrar justamente para que le podamos preguntar Yes, what's the question? <laughs> the question is why we use us and not that, say Clara. Um, you use us when the comparison you're making is exactly the same. For example, you can say Santa Ana is as beautiful as Sonsonate. That means that my opinion is that Santa Ana and Sonsonate are exactly the same in terms of beauty. Or you can say, um, Lamborghinis are just as expensive as Ferraris. So the two have the same price. So when you are comparing and your opinion is that the two objects that you're mentioning are at the same level. Uh, okay. Um, when, you okay are, when you're saying this is better than the other one, then you use then. Okay. Okay. Okay, Thank get you. clear. Thank All you. right, good. Houses are okay. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing okay. Who is your partner? I don't know. Let me You're see. This is, let me see, Lisette. Where's Lisette? Oh, okay, yeah, Juan. yeah, Juan is back. Oh. Hello, Juan. Okay, he, Hi, he, Juan. he's supposed to be in this room, but it appears that he's not joined yet. Hello, teacher. Oh, okay, there he is. Don't worry. Oh. Oh. Okay, I can listen. Maybe. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I understand. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's a question. 
I, I have a little problem with this topic. Yeah, it takes practice. Okay. Yep. Okay, teacher, I finished. I only think is, uh, the apartments for me is better, the houses. Okay, so that is your conclusion. <laughs> In my conclusion, because I prefer apartments is better for me, is is fewer expensive and it's small, it's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And for me, I prefer live alone and I, is like the future I visit in my family, I prefer another place, if no, prefer my apartments. Okay. I prefer to go to the park, go to the cinema, another place. But I prefer to live alone and I, mm -hmm. I'm happy with, I had a, a bedroom and in my bedroom, I had a television and I do my homework in my bedroom and I don't have any problem with this. I prefer it very easy to clean the, the bedroom. So in your opinion, apartments are more practical for you? Yes, it's better for me, it's, it's better. For okay. All, if Only you want to visit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, had a, you had a house, you have to, to have to a lot of things in your house. And because it's very, it's very difficult to, to sell a lot of things for your house. And you had a, a small space, it's better. Okay. Me, in my opinion. Yeah, that, you know, that, that's another point when you say, look, if I have a big house, I need to invest more in buying things. If you have a small space, a small space, it's easier to to find the things that you need. Yes, it's for me. It's it's, uh, it's my opinion. Okay, good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. So I understand that for some people, this is a topic that you need to practice extra. You need to practice a lot so you guys get the hint of it. Uh, when we talk about grammar, uh, some topics are easier and friendlier than others. This one in particular takes more practice, but like I told you before, we're not telling you speak like this, use this structure. And that's why I wanted you to compare houses and apartments the way you usually do it, and now using this structure right here. So the point is, there are different forms to make comparisons in a real life situation. Any questions or comments before we change topic? No? No. All right. How many hours do you usually sleep? Uh, six and maybe seven. Okay, six or seven. Does anybody sleep more than seven here in the in the in the group? Six teacher. Six hours. Okay. Yes. Gabriela. How many hours do you sleep? Mm, in this quarantine? Uh huh. About eight, eight hours. Eight hours, okay. Eight eight hours. Hours. So when you wake up in the morning, you feel completely reloaded. You feel brand new. Yes. Okay. Anybody else wants to share how many hours you sleep? For me, uh, seven hours, teacher. Seven hours, okay. Do you usually go to sleep early or do you prefer going to sleep late? No, sometimes I prefer sleep early. Okay, yeah. all right. Depends. <laughs> all right, good. So, okay, so um, the last uh, activity that we have for today we're going to be talking about dreams. Now, when we talk about free topic, um, use whatever structure you wanna 
use. So let me show you the questions that you will see this here. Right here. Do you see the questions? Yes. Okay. 10 questions. 10 questions, exactly. So all the questions are related with trimming. So let me assign you to work in pairs again. So you improve your fluency, your accuracy and all the different things. And here we go again. Let me see, <laughs> let's go. Let me send you the picture of it. Is, do you is there is guy <laughs> sueñas uh, dream <laughs> dream maybe uh -huh. it's a pan uh, could be it's, I don't know <laughs> it's a pan but when I when I went to the college uh, I lived with another girl in the same room so the first night. <laughs> I uh, have to stay. No, no, porque no sabían quién estaba hablando ni nada. El siguiente día me dije. Oh, so you speak when you when, when you're dreaming? Yeah, I speak. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice asustar? How do you spell? How do you say asustar? Scare. I scare other one. Yeah, you scare other people. Okay. I always <laughs> scare, I scare them. <laughs> okay. Say that is rarely or rare. Mm -hmm. Is strange in the way that I talk, she can't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Your your sister your sister listen your conversations in your in your in your dream. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I I don't I I I don't I don't think. Uh, the the question five. No, the question four. I okay. don't. Uh -huh. The having a dream affect the way you feel when you wake up. Which number are you doing right now? Uh, number four. Number four. Affect the way you feel when you wake up. How do you feel the following day when you have dreamt about something? Does that affect the way you feel? Uh, for me, no, teacher. Okay. So um, a dream is just a dream. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> good. 
Okay. Uh, what about you, Debbie? Okay. The same that to me. Dreams mm. affect in, in certain modo. <laughs> in a okay. certain way. In a certain way. In a certain way. Okay. Do you think uh does it have okay? The four is and yes, I feel when I dream something bad with one of my family. Like you do. Yes. In my case, when I when I'm dreaming with a family has died, when yeah, yeah. I wake when I wake up, I have feel sad all day. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the next question say, do you think dreams can be explaining? What is the pronunciation, the next, this word? Explained. Explained, explained scientifically. 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 Scientific. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Can you repeat, please? Scientifically. I, uh, I don't know. Scientifically. Yeah, scientifically. Yes. Scientific. Do you think dreams can be explained scientifically? Scientifically. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yes, I prefer romantic movies or comedian movies. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Uh, me too, because my favorites uh, are uh, terror. <laughs> Horror movies? Yes. Okay. Uh, George, uh, three questions. Do you think animal dream, animals dream? A child. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. In my case, uh, uh, for all my life, I dream uh, of uh of a sea but uh, i don't know <laughs> what 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 of a sea uh, uh te lo diré en español siempre sueño que uh, soy en el mar oh uh -huh. <laughs> but i don't know uh -huh, for the sea yeah okay uh, but i don't know if... <laughs> i know so it's a bad dream. <laughs> it's, it's a it's a bad it's a really bad dream. <laughs> you don't like bad dreams. Mm, well, in my case, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think nobody likes bad dreams. No, when I have a uh, bad dreams, I always wake up and in the middle of the, of the night. Okay. But I can sleep. I can sleep uh, before. <laughs> After sorry. you go back After. to sleep without any yeah. problems. Yeah, and in the next morning, I never remind my my dream. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I really? never, I never have think in that <laughs> because Which? I think that I don't know. If the animal have a dream. Really? Well. Yeah. Cada, cada quien va, piensa diferente. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next. It's only for a moment. <laughs> I don't Maybe know. you I have don't... the same dream, but but you don't remember. Uh huh. I think that too. Well, for for example, uh, is is common to to dream when 
strong one does. Strong one does. Mm -hmm. And yeah. maybe you have the same dream running. for many, many, many times. Yes. Oh, just daydream. Sueños diarios. Do you daydream? Not exactly. Sometimes I'm very tired and I sleep too deep to have dreams. And I woke up and I say, oh my God, I can't believe I cannot dream again or, or not sleep again. Feels like it doesn't repair. Like like the teacher say, I don't have the battery uh, full, just the half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that they don't dream. Really, I don't dream. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Any questions or comments about the last activity you guys were performing or doing? It's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, so sometimes we dream and we don't even, we don't, sometimes we don't pay attention to our dreams. <laughs> so it's something that everybody experiences. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so if there are not any other questions or comments, uh, we're going to stop right here. I'll be seeing you Monday, same place, same time. You guys have a nice weekend, get some rest, and see you on Monday at eight o'clock. Take care, teacher. All right, you two, do the, you do the same. Mm -hmm. Good night. Have a yeah, good night. Okay, good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye, good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.